Hey y'all, it's your favorite wedding planner, Rachel Burt from As You Wish Events. I'm gonna talk to you guys today about some do's and don'ts for honeymoon planning. Do communicate. Make sure you guys talk in advance about where you wanna go for your honeymoon. Are you the beach tropical kind of person? Are you a snow skiing kind of person? Just make sure and have that conversation with your fiance ahead of time. So don't leave right away for your honeymoon after your wedding. This is a huge one, you guys. Give yourselves a day or two to rest and recuperate. The wedding week and the weekend itself is very stressful. There's a lot going on. You're gonna be exhausted. You wanna give yourself that extra day or two to maybe check your suitcase again and just make sure you're ready to go, get a little rest in and be ready to have fun on the honeymoon. Do everything in advance. I'm talking come up with a budget, figure out how much you wanna spend on this. I'm talking, you know, book your flights, book your accommodations, figure out what excursions you're gonna do. Do all of this in advance because as the wedding weekend approaches, that month or two before the wedding is when a lot of the planning comes into play, meaning your invitations are going out, you're getting your RCPs back, you're gonna have to do your seating chart, you're gonna be working on your day of paper products like your programs and your menu cards and there's just so many little things that come up the last two months of the wedding planning process that you really don't wanna to wait to the last minute to be booking all of your honeymoon things because then you're gonna get really stressed out about it, it's no longer gonna be fun and you wanna make sure you do everything in advance and that includes packing guys you want to make sure you have all your outfits ready to go buy anything you need and do your research I mean you may need plug converters you may need a different currency just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into early in advance with that being said don't overpack your schedule you want to make sure that week or two of your honeymoon isn't too overscheduled. you want to have time to enjoy each other's company and just lounge around and enjoy the culture of wherever it is that you're honeymooning um, you want to have plenty of things to do but don't overpack it to where you're going from place to place to place okay one more bonus you guys one thing i really want to touch on is if you're having a hard time planning your honeymoon get involved with a honeymoon planner oh my gosh they are amazing. If you're having a little bit of trouble planning your honeymoon or need a little bit of additional advice, don't hesitate to contact a honeymoon planner. Being a wedding planner, I even contacted a honeymoon planner to help us out a little bit with our honeymoon. We couldn't find the exact um, Versailles tour that we wanted to go on, so we actually contacted Taylor at The Simple Soul, who helped us, and it was one of our favorite things that we did the entire time. So don't hesitate to call a honeymoon planner if it's something that you really you know, are struggling with. They're there to help you, and it was an amazing experience working with them. If you wanna hear more about my honeymoon, check out my video here. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Please click subscribe if you liked the video. Check out our Instagram here and use our hashtag AYWLove. Bye, babes.